Well, hello, my frilly shoppers, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are back at Walmart. We lost the beginning footage. Oh, darn. So we're just going to jump right in. Now, I am looking for a new little back comb for my hair. I always have this particular spot that doesn't lay right. So I always kind of do a little back comb trick and then smooth it out. And my back comb, well, it is not working. I lost the original and I got a couple new ones. They're just, they're not doing what I want. So this one looks really interesting. I'm going to try this. It's only $3. And so I'm like, I like that they're bringing in more of them because sometimes they used to be a long time ago, hard to find. Now, of course, I always like to look at the brushes. I'm trying to figure out a new one for my daughter. I have a boar bristle brush, but she's not she doesn't like that one. We had this in a plastic one, but it's not working for her hair. She has super thick hair. So we're just gonna kind of shop around and see what we can find. Now, we're not finding anything, so I'm just gonna move on to the outdoor section. <laughs> the barbecue grills. Remember what this is? This is the grill that everybody used to have. Now, the blue is a new color. I remember it used to be red. Everybody had a red one in their backyard. This was traditional. Now, you know, mind you, this I'm thinking of the 80s, and I really like the way they displayed it too. But here is a new one. Can you imagine this in your backyard? Now, I know this is $847. Now, you could also use the Affirm. Um, so it's monthly payments. You could apply for that, which is nice that the Walmart will accept that. Because I know this could, people will see this and be like, oh, this is the dream. This is the grill I want. This is the ultimate grill. I'm. This is like an outdoor kitchen in your back. I mean, look at it. It's like a little bit of an oven. Is that an oven? I mean... How many is that? It says eight and one. You have, so it looks like an oven, a grill. And I forgot what the first one is. Is that another type of grill or is that a smoker? So you have, like I said, a grill, smoke, bake. This is your outdoor kitchen. So you don't have to, you know, if you are looking to redo your backyard, you honestly don't have to do a whole built-in. Here is your, here is your oven and grill. Now here's a second one. About the same price a little bit different layout it doesn't have the oven <laughs> on top of it uh, it looks like there's a grill i think the other one may be a smoker i'm not the biggest grill expert i just kind of know what i like but i do like these flat grills those are perfect because you can use those for breakfast or lunch and i prefer them and you don't lose your food in between the grills that's always the hardest part. When you try to do veggies, yeah, that doesn't work on there. Now, of course, here's a tr or your traditional. It's 174, so it is a little bit on the lower end. Now, like I said, if you did the Affirm, this is only $16.12 a month. And like I said, for $174, you can still get all your little grilling needs going. And now we're going to move from the outdoor back into the closet for $12.48. I like that the plastic hangers, these have the non-slip. That was my, one of my beefs with the plastic hangers was that my, my clothes would just slip off. And that's why I switched over to the velvet. Well, they're like more like a flock hanger. The black ones that you get at Costco or Sam's Club. Uh, but I like that they changed these because there's some people, that the only, my only thing with the black hangers is that they can break, uh, especially at the neck. So the little hook will break off. And that's, and that happens once in a while. Now these may be a little bit stronger. I'll definitely have to try those out. I am on the market for a new shoe rack. Now, not over the door. I, <laughs> I know there's a really nice one at Costco, but I'm looking just kind of look for a little ex inexpensive one that's underneath in my closet. Nobody's going to see it. Nothing fancy, but I like this one. It's four tiers. It's only $10, which is great because I didn't want to spend that much. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Look at all of these. I'm loving all. I love to reorganize. And now a lot of people are saying you should do that as a business. I don't like reorganizing other people's. I just like doing my own just because I know exactly what I could get rid of. And... Plus, I know where I put it. <laughs> I know where to find it. Now, this little six shelf organizer, that's actually really cute. And that is only almost $7. So $6 and change. Now, these mesh bags, <laughs> I always have to buy one like every other year. They, 
I use these a lot. They get they get a little torn up, so I'm definitely gonna grab one of these. It's only $1.24, so that's actually a really good price. I had one and I sewed it up, and it's just it just yeah, <laughs> it needs to go. Now here are these dice. This is for your laundry room, six dollars and forty-four cents. Yeah, that's actually a really good price. It's this little shelving unit. And it's a four tier, so this would be this will work really perfectly. You can put that in your closet, or you can use it in the laundry room. I I love the or even a craft room. Now there is really twelve ninety eight. Here you go. The it's the hanging. <laughs> you have all these options to hang your garments. A lot of our garments are so delicate. I do like this tree. This would fold away. This little drying rack, that is pretty cool. Now, these are really pretty. It's by the Pioneer Woman, the Emboss Canister Set. There's a set of three. Oh, I really like that blue color. That's really pretty, especially for Easter time. You know, changing everything out, making everything pretty for spring. Only $12, not bad. It's like $4 a canister. Of course, I'm always talking about, you know, when you're redoing your kitchen, well, not really redo it, but you know, cleaning out your pantry, kind of get everything organized. Walmart actually has a really good price on these storage bins. These could get, these could get pricey depending on what you need for. My advice is always just kind of get, get them as you go, because there's so many different sizes. You may not need that particular size, maybe smaller or wider. So I would definitely, you know, as you go, mark them down. Now this is really nice for the fridge. If you're washing like your celery, tomatoes, or fruit, this is really great because then all of the liquid could, you know, go underneath of it. And so they're not sitting in liquid. Definitely always like checking those out. Now these, I want to say, now it's the brand Thermos. Most of these are. Now these do get pricey, but they really last a long time. I bought my, one for my daughter when she was in kindergarten. It was back when Doc McStuffins was really popular. Now, obviously, she is in the fifth grade. Not into Doc McStuffins anymore. So I used my Cricut and redecorated her bottle. But I need that topper straw. I'm looking for the refill because I know they have them because I've done it before. And I'm having a really hard time of finding those straw refills. So I'm just gonna keep looking. Now, this is another set by the Pioneer Woman. This is for almost $15. That's a really expensive mug. It's heavy, but it's a little bit overpriced. These are $4.98. They're okay. I mean, I know everything else, everything in price is going up. They're pretty glasses, though, I will tell you that. I don't know this blue one. It's a nice one because I like the iced tea and those. So I like that every size is the same price. But yeah, four ninety eight. You can see the the rose ones in those actually sold out. Okay, we're gonna go right into the food. Where is the creamer? Oh my god, there's only one one creamer back there, but that's not the one I need. Now all the creamer is just bought out. There's like no more creamer. Look at these shelves. Okay, I need some more almond milk, but I really don't want to reach my back is hurting. I don't want to reach all the way back there. So I'm just gonna grab this one. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So it's almond milk, it's unsweetened vanilla. Hopefully it tastes the same. Now this Fair Life, I did grab that, the lactose free. Uh, for only $3.98, pretty good. My stomach has been okay with it. So that is nice to know. And of course, we're gonna grab my daughter the organic milk. Nobody's buying that. I know it's, it is, it does cost more than the regular milk. Now here's a nice little section. These are like the day old bread and you could get them for a discounted price. How much is it, 70 cents? I don't, Try to figure out if those were a dollar or two dollars each normally, but not too bad if you're not that picky. But or if you're going to use them, especially if you're going to use them the same day. That was seventy-seven cents. Now I'm going to look. I was going to grab the Impossible Burgers, but uh, oh, let's see the price. I do want to get some sausage. Five twenty-three. Yeah, that did. That definitely went up. I know everything. Everything has gone up. 
Now, here's the Crown Royal. Whiskey and Cola. Ooh, these are in cans. These are packs of four. And you got, now the apple. I don't know if like, is this, is that a soda? Or, now this is a peach tea. That one sounds really good. That would cost a little bit more. That is $12.27. The other ones were $10 and change. <laughs> so the prices, the high prices are getting to you. There you go. <laughs> now the VA sparkling energy drink. Sometimes I like to switch out, you know, you need a little extra boost. And I don't feel like having coffee. So I'm going to grab a pack of these. The pineapple orange is a really good flavor, at least to me. Now I was looking for the coffee for my husband. I was looking, you know, he's been, he loves the Starbucks double shots. Not the energy. Those double shots are a lot smaller and I'm not finding them, but I did find that super coffee. Look at all these different flavors. Now the caramel I've seen before. What are some of these other? Blueberry muffin? Uh, cinnamon roll? Yikes. That's, those sound a little too sweet, but those are not supposed to have any sugar, so that's interesting. Now I get fascinated with all the different chocolate chips that they have. Look at all these different chocolate chips. You know, it used to be such a small section. Now you got like cinnamon chips, you got Hershey's, Butterfingers, Reese's, you got your standard Nestle Toll House, but those are, you know, it used to be just semi-sweet. You have a choice with organic. And I usually sometimes will buy grab the organic ones. That or Nestle Toll House. I kind of stick with the classics. Yeah, those are like $3.44. Look at all these other ones. Now you got the great value. That's not too bad. And I've used that. I used it one time because there was like no chips. And so that was my only option. It tasted the same. Now I've showed these before. These are Bake Believe. No sugar added. No, those are, no, those are not chips. Those are the melting. Like if you're going to dip strawberries. Like all of these. Look at these baking bits. What kind is this one? Not GMO, no sugar. Hmm. Now, this one was interesting. Disco. It's edible glitter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I Kids would love that. And then here are morsels and more. What is... Boy, I look at these sections. This, it just makes, like, you have, you know, it's like, well, I need chocolate chips. Oh, okay. Now there's, like, 30 kinds to choose from. So we're going to go hop over to the almond flour. Now this is the ultimate almond flour. Now this is going to be hard to see in the camera. It is super fine. It looks like flour, but I'm talking about almond flour usually is a little bit gritty. You usually have to kind of blend it, especially if you're making macaroons. That one you can see is a little bit gritty and this one was very smooth. So interesting. And I love that almond flour is really coming down in price. So here's the flax seeds, so you could you get them all ground up, definitely. I one time put flax seed in my smoothie, thinking I could blend it up, it did not work. So the ground will definitely, it's only $2.60. So that is, I like that you have that option. All of these different items that you could add to your smoothies, look at beets, the matcha, what is that? Is that carrot? I can't, <laughs> it's hard to tell. Look at all these different additives that you could add. Super blue, super, super blend, super food blend, super seeds, and the chia seeds. I do like the chia seeds. Now I'm going to pop in with the Easter, see if there's anything new. Ooh, check out these mugs. You've got the Avengers. You've got, of course, Star Wars with the little Grogu. Now these are $5.48. You have LOL. Oh, I see R2-D2 back there. Now, these are fun. And they come with jelly beans inside. Let's see if there's anything else back there. And the great thing about these are like $5.48. Oh, that would be fun. Can't tell. So those are good prices. With about, here's more Star Wars. What's well, something? <laughs> Those are $4.98. Oh, the LOL. Oh, that LOL gummy is a little scary. The Peeps. Oh, that is a cute mug. That's $5.48 as well. It comes with a cake mix. Oh, okay. 
And I think these are probably for like microwaves. I don't own a microwave, so I, this wouldn't work for me. But I do like the mugs. The mugs are cute. The little Reese's, the Hershey's. They come with little cakes. What else? Oh, these are the same. Oh, are those three ninety eight? No, no, no. Those are the wrong. Yeah, those are okay. Those are five dollars. Yeah, we'll point them out. So a little less than the Star Wars ones over there. And, but yeah, still a lot of Easter trees. I know Easter's, you know, still a couple of weeks away. You have Spider-Man and Grogu, all these little, the little treats. And look at all the Reese's items. There are so many different Reese's. Like this is like a pack of eggs. Oh, here you go. Go hunting for those. <laughs> those are, ooh, those are $8.98. How many of those? There's a dozen, just like a dozen eggs. Well, those will be fun. Now, look at you have the bigger Reese's egg. The Reese's went all out. And the bunnies. So we're gonna move from there. We're gonna go into the bakery. I'm making my baked potato soup again because the weather has cooled down. So I'm gonna grab some bread. Look like everybody else was grabbing some bread. Oh, I like that. It's already pre-sliced. Save me a little time, but I'm gonna grab the bigger loaf. And, you know, I have to look at the sweets. I always have to look at the sweets. Oh, that coconut. I tell you, that coconut cake. I'm going to get that soon. I'm kind of waiting till I have a little company so I can use it all at once. Those look so tasty. The cupcake. Oh, look at There's a Grogu cake. Thir $13. That's actually a really good price. Now, look like he's on Mustafar. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. $18. Oh, these cakes, they always have such nice cakes. My husband, uh, my husband's birthday is next, but he likes it when I make a cake. The red velvet cupcakes are definitely, those are my daughter's favorite. Let's grab some of those. Ooh, those mangoes, 98 cents. Ooh, the pineapples, $1.98. I love fresh fruit. The mangoes are kind of a pain to cut, but I could do it. Lemons are 62 cents. Oh, those look really pretty. I tried to grow lemons on my tree. They just were not coming out right. 50 cents. Ooh, kiwi. I like this because you can pick out your own. And then, of course, so we have the blueberries at $5.98. Oh, that's not bad because you can just wash these up and freeze them. Use them as you need them. Blueberries freeze really nice. A lot of fruit does, actually. Use them for your smoothies. And the strawberries are looking really tasty. And these are local strawberries, which I like. So I'm going to find a good package. And some of these, half of them I will eat. And half of them I'll cut them up and freeze them for my smoothies. So grabbing those. Yum, yum. So yeah, like I said, these are locally grown which I like that they do that here in California. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little trip to Walmart. And as always, thank you so much for coming along and I will talk to you later. So take care.